UAS is a pioneer in the underground development of CMS modeling, laser scanning, and our opportunity was to get information in spaces underground that you either weren't able to get into before, it was very cost inefficient to do so. The traditional surveying methods by either a cart or a borehole CMS just aren't able to reach. If they are able to get it, they're overexposing the worker. They're exposing the worker to dangers that they really don't need to be exposed to. By using our technology, we're able to stand back well back of the danger zone, be able to arm the drone and fly into these areas and capture data that, that's just unprecedented and unseen. We're producing access to information in emergency situations, fall aground or mishaps in operations or construction. We're doing some modeling, some scanning and laser work to ensure that we have detailed information of the workings during either construction or development. And again, we're doing so in such a way that we're getting access to information very efficiently and very safely removing employees from the brow. This technology isn't only limited to just drone use. We're able to remove it from the drone and scan ore passes, raises, development drifts, nearly anywhere that you need to get to that is difficult to survey with traditional means. We're able to also attach it to a tether and lower it into areas that would be too tight to fit the drone into and still be able to capture a high definition, high resolution scan of your asset. We were asked to go to the Democratic Republic of the Congo. That particular mission brought us to the largest scope we've been ever asked to fly. At over 150 meters tall, it was essentially a large soccer stadium on its side. It took us only six minutes to cover the entire stope with over 96% coverage. It would take them over three hours to survey this exact same stope using traditional surveying methods. We had the opportunity to fly for one of our clients to the deepest drone mission recorded in the world. Our client needed some information to a retired space in his area. Without putting humans in the facility, we were able to get him all the information he required from an old station that they hadn't worked on for over 25 years. The Timmins Kid Creek operation is the deepest base metal mine in the world. We were able to successfully fly over 9,600 feet below sea level and provide our client with a high definition, high resolution point cloud of multiple stopes where the ore body is located. The software has improved, the resolution, just everything, the technology in general has just improved and it's only going to keep getting better.